Today is Monday the 9th of October and we are six days out from Melbourne Marathon. Today I'm going to be talking about my marathon outfit and the reason why I'm using this gear all here. And after I'll also be speaking about my thoughts and feelings six days out from Melbourne Marathon. I'll start off with what I'm actually going to be wearing on race day. So bottoms i'm going to be using the nike half tights and these are great because there's no chafing with the thighs and then also your cheeks which is fantastic and they feel quite light the only issue i've kind of not really issue it's just more the fact that you're wearing tights so you could kind of see your penis and it's <laughs> they say that you feel comfortable but you make other people around you uncomfortable I think they're great. I'm gonna be using this. So that's very nice that I found that three weeks ago. Second thing I'll be using, I'll be using this singlet right here. And it's a little bit, it cuts a little bit in. And I never really realized why they did that. But the more that I run, the more I notice that you create chafing. And most of the clothes or singlets that I've used in the past, they start to chafe when it's going closer in and it's a little bit thinner. Um, it creates a little bit less chafing, which is pretty ideal. Hat-wise, I actually went through six different Nike hats, and this is the one that actually fits the best, feels the best. I'm gonna be using this one. I used this one in the Great Ocean Road as well, and I have another one of it too, so I could just rotate, but I'll be using this one. Socks, didn't really understand the importance of this. I've always been using Nike socks, but these ones by SHU, S-H-Y-U, have been really good. They're lightweight, they're breathable, and then they also, they don't cause any friction within the shoe, so you're not gonna get blisters, which is like one of the biggest things about running. You don't want any type of aggravation or anything to annoy you during these long runs. You want it to be as smooth and seamless as possible. So these are really good and they match my shoes leading into this one. So I've got the Hoka Mach 5s and these ones have been great. They're a little bit more lighter than my usual Clifton 9s. You want it to be as light as possible and they're a little bit more responsive. And the flip belt. So this is the Pro one. With the flip belt, this one's just like a good product to have in general for running. Um, you could put your phone inside this, you could put uh, your keys. With this, I'm gonna be loading up all my gels within this. So I have five gels and they'll fit in this easily. I used to put SIS gels in this and the SIS gels are massive, but with the Mordens, lucky enough, they're a lot more smaller. So I've got the original one and this is just like the, like the pro version. To be honest, I kind of prefer the older one because uh, this one has a zip and it kind of just feels annoying against the skin. This one is a really good accessory to have if you are getting into running just to carry just all your stuff. I'm also going to be wearing these. I just got these two. So these are the Oakley Sutro, Suntro. I actually don't know the name, but these are Oakleys and these just look cool. I actually don't like wearing sunglasses, but there's something about wearing sunglasses when you're running. It feels like you're a bit locked in. In a sense, when I put these on, it feels like I'm in my own room or in my own zone. So that's that for the things that I'm gonna be wearing. In terms of the other stuff that's also gonna be used on race day, but that's just not a part of the outfit itself. Morden gels. So with these ones, I'm gonna have five gels for the race. I'm gonna be taking them kind of every 40 minutes. To give you the specifics in terms of times, I'm actually gonna be taking it. I'm gonna be taking one at 15 minutes, six kilometers, 16 kilometers, 27 kilometers, and 36.5 kilometers. All those times and kilometers that I mentioned are spots where there's a water station because these are quite sweet. They kind of just taste like honey. So it's gonna leave a kind of sweet taste in your mouth. So just to wash it down, I'll be at the water stations just smashing it down with that. Other things, this is, Robin, what do you call this? Um, I know it's tape, but what type of tape? Yeah, sure. I've got sports tape here and this is gonna go on my nipples. And 
so there's no friction on the singlet it is a thing it's a legit thing and luckily for me it's not it actually hasn't happened that often but i just want to mitigate the risk that i'm gonna start bleeding on my nipples because i'm wearing a white singlet also so taking it off just a heads up is like one of the most painful things ever i'm also going to bring this so this is anti-chafing balm it's called gooch goo which sounds terrible but this one's really good so i'm going to put it under the arms through here and i'll probably do two coats so one prior to going there and then just before we actually after we do our warm-ups i'm going to apply another one um, on those same areas just so then it's extra anti-chafing i guess this one's been good but then again i haven't really tried any other ones other things handkerchief this is extremely underrated you just snot a lot while you run so lip balm dermal this one's probably my favorite one to use actually the only one that i use and that's just for my lips so it's not all crusty and vix this one here is just to like clear up the sinuses prior to actually getting into the race and then post run i'll be having vitamins not right after but obviously once we have our meal and just so then i could speed up the recovery i'll also have my protein shake electrolytes by train aid as well i'll be bringing that also and yes the finally mentioned that this is the bib this is going to be with that i forgot to mention that but i'll also be having this bib right here too so yeah that's everything but i'll get into my thoughts and feelings once i go to the park it's been 11 weeks into the melbourne marathon prep and i had a moment yesterday thinking holy shit i actually came this far like at the start you already have you know the thought of like i'm gonna do it but it's like it's 12 weeks away three months and so many things can happen within those three months. And I know for myself, life has been some of the most challenging and fulfilling and roller coaster of emotions that I've been going through. And this marathon journey has really allowed me to kind of make sense of all these life happenings. <laughs> I was thinking about this the other day and coach sent an amazing video. It's like the six star documentary of Yuki, I think that's his name, Yuki something. And he's like a very top marathon. And I, I was just, just crying a little bit, you know, like, fuck. Ooh. Fucking out in public and fucking about to cry. How oh, fucking hilarious. When I watched this documentary, I started reflecting of like just this journey, just Project 320 and you know what I've been working towards and this stuff just timestamps all these experiences, all these challenges, all these stories, just all these hurdles, all these things that was required to grow to achieve this feat. Um, yeah it's feeling very surreal i'm a little bit nervous i'm a little bit scared i'm you know i'm really excited i'm like there's just so much feelings from it and i'm just grateful if you are looking to take on the goal of running a marathon i would highly recommend it i'd say you know commit to it and just go all in because it's been life-changing for me. This time next week, I would have completed the Melbourne Marathon. I'll be uploading the video on the Wednesday, not the Monday, because I'm gonna just get the footage. I'll probably be wrecked from the race, so I'll need a little bit of time to edit my footage, and I'm gonna be getting Maki, who's gonna be filming you know, on the actual race day itself. So shout out to Maki. And um, if you are wanting to you know see the results right away add me on strava add me on instagram i'm going to be uploading it there on the actual day itself but if you're able to be patient you'll see it on the wednesday 6 p.m that's it for the video i hope you guys are ready for the climax and the finale let's go let's fucking get it <laughs>